Hello and welcome to Common Tools Getting Started with the System Browser. My name is Arden Thomas. I'm the product manager for Syncom Smalltalk. So the System Browser, sometimes called the Refactoring Browser, is probably the most frequently used tool in our products. If you've downloaded the personal use version of either of our products, this is the Object Studio PUL, and this is the visual work. So this is this is part of what you will see. And you can launch the browser. It's this icon right here. So here's launching it from Object Studio. And here is launching it from, from VisualWorks. It, it's essentially the same in both. The icon is slightly different. So let's, let's walk through this. The browser essentially has four panes up here to select things and you see content down in the bottom. So on the left here, you have packages and bundles, then you'll have classes, method categories, and methods, and different things down here on the bottom, depending on what you have selected at, at, at the top. So we are going to walk through the browser and try to, to cover it in a way in a way that it's most typically used and with some examples. So there are two primary ways that you'll use the browser. First, you'll use it to find and explore classes and methods to reuse. And second, you'll use it to write your own classes and methods for your application. A quick comment before we begin. A great thing about Smalltalk from the very beginning is its organization. Not only can you organize your code within objects, which is which is very powerful, but the environment supports organization. So classes are grouped into packages. Packages can be grouped into bundles. We see the bundles and we see packages here. Uh, methods for a class can be on the instance or class side. The class side is the factory. We'll show an example of that. And finally, methods themselves are grouped into method categories. So there's just some great ways to organize, really, really do a great job of organizing your code. This, this product supports. So now let's take a Let's take a look at how the different panes work, and we'll, we'll use some, some real-world examples and show you some more tools as well. <laughs> 